Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with a special one-on-one. -on -one. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about buying raw comic books. That's right. I'm not going to talk about graded books. I'm going to talk about buying raw comic books. I've got some examples here of uh, some, some raw comics. We're going to look at them together and try to figure out what's what. What you should be looking for when you're buying a raw comic book, especially a modern comic book. Now, guys, we all know that uh, when you are buying comic books today, raw or modern books, we are all looking for those 9-8 contenders, right? But I can't tell you how often, um, you know, uh, clients come into the shop uh, with a book, and unfortunately, the book will never be a 9-8, <laughs> no matter what magic or sorcery I use to make the book fantastic, there's only so far you can go. So we're going to look at a book today, a few books. I pulled about five or six books, just grabbed them out of, out of my collection, actually. Books I haven't looked at in a long time. And uh, we'll look at them together and figure out what's what. What you should be looking for when you go uh, to the, your local comic store, to a convention, and are debating whether or not to buy a certain book. Now, guys, the first thing you want to do is this. Okay, so let's just look at this. We'll look at this X-Men 151 to begin with, okay? The first thing you got to do is take it out of its sleeve, okay? Take it out. Of, I don't care if it says NM on there, if the if the um, if the seller put near mint or nine point six or nine point eight or whatever. Take the book out. Now you could always. I know some guys don't want you opening their books up, um, but they can open it. So would you mind? I'm really interested in this book. I'd like to buy. You know, it's a, it's a it's a certain price. Uh, can I have a look at the book, please? Make sure your hands are clean, of course. You don't go into a comic store after having a Big Mac and have Mac sauce and greasy or having eaten chicken fingers or something like that. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. And if they don't want you to open the bag, and I like to open the bags at my own shop, open it up, take the tape right off the bag and get rid of the tape. Put it off the side somewhere and take the book out. Now, look at this handy dandy. I, I, I hooked up another camera here. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. Because if it doesn't, this video won't be very entertaining. Buying tips. Here we go. All right. So here we go. Um, let me take this one out of the bag completely. All right. And uh, we'll look at it together. All right. So here we go. So we've got this X-Men book right here. I'm looking at it. Let's see if I can find my pointer instrument. Here it is. Okay. So first things for I'm gonna lay it down here. I don't know if that's too far away from you. Let's have a look at it together. Let's have a look at it together. So first off, we're noticing lots. The first thing you want to do is you want to scan the book's corners. You want to scan all four corners. You want to look here, 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 down at the bottom, right, and right on all the edges. You want to make sure that all the edges are square. There's no bends, no dings. You want to make sure that. Um, you know, all four corners are sharp, and if they're not, you if they're rounded or if they're blunted, you want to take note of that, okay? Because that's a big deal. If a modern book has a rounded corner, is it focus there? I think it is right about there. If it's got a rounded corner, in this case here, this book here, I'm going I'm to handle these books pretty roughly, guys. They're, they're mine, and they're not minty anyway, so I don't care, but they have, uh, this one here has a rounded, blunted edge here. I'm using my cell phone, guys, for this, so hopefully... Let's see if I can uh, make it look a little nicer. Not really. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure it's worn out, and, and that's the first thing you want to do. Then you want to, of course, inspect the spine. And you want to make sure the spine is nice and clean. So you want to eyeball the spine all the way down. And in this case, I see there's some, there's some, um, some pulling going on by the staple here, slightly. Um... You know, like I said before, you've got some rounded edges here. What else? I'm going to turn the light there. We have another, you know, crease there. You know, look at this book right off the bat. Oh, of course. Don't forget to turn the book over. There's two sides to a book. Make sure you flip the book over. And here, right off the bat, we see a nice big dog ear right there. If we were just looking at the front... You wouldn't have saw that. You can see a little bit of a bend there, but it's not as prominent or prevalent as you as you notice on the back. So right off the bat, we got a dog ear there. We've got uh, some bends in the top here as well. Okay, some more bends over here. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting I have. Um, and then when you're done inspecting all, when you're done inspecting all the, um, you know, the four corners as it were, two, three, four. You've checked the spine out. You want to check the edges. You know, for tears, like the little, little tear right here. 
Um, because tears aren't going away. A press is not going to get rid of a tear, right? No tears, then you want to inspect the body of the book, the actual face of the book. Now that's where pressing really shines, right? Now we have that bend right here. Well, pressing, let's see if I can get it to show more. Yeah, right there. That bend is going to go away with a good press, all right? That bend will go away with a good press. We see some, some lots of finger dents, lots of finger dents on this book, but pressing will also clean that up as well. Um, when you have finger dents on the face of your book, so long as it doesn't break color, a good press should get rid of those defects. Now, what can't we fix on this book? Well, obviously I can't make that blunted rounded edge sharp again. That's, that's you know, I can, I can clean it up a little bit, but it's, it's, there's, there's color loss there. You're not getting that back. There's some um, crunching going on in this corner here. If you can see it or not, I think you can actually right about there. But the crunching will actually go away with a press. That's not a problem. Uh, I see some color. There's some color breaking creases at the bottom here, which will not go away. Um, this book will likely not get a 9.8. But this book could. It could It could get like a 9.2, 9.4 after a good press. Okay? So, again, check the four corners. One, two, three, and four. Check the spine along the spine. Flip it over, check the back, and the back has lots of other problems too. Again, the lights are not, there's another bend right down here, which should go away with a good press. Now, another thing you want to do too, my friends, is you want to look inside the book. You want to check for the actual coloring of the inner pages. Are they yellow? Are they cream? Are they supple white? You know, you figure that out. And you want to just do a quick flip. Do a quick flip, you know, to make sure there's no ads cut out, <clears throat> no tears, doesn't take very long. And I'm talking about, guys, I'm talking about books that cost, you know, in excess of like $50. You know, uh, would I do this for a $10 or a $5 book? Probably not. I'll just take my chances on it. But if you start spending $50 to $100 and, a, and more for, a, and especially more than $100, take the 10, take, take the one and a half minute to do what I just did there and make sure the book looks good. So this one's looking all right. Look, that bend is going right through the book. The one I showed you earlier, it's going right through the book. But again, a good press should get rid of it. Now that bend, which I did show you, is pretty sharp. It should minimize. It may go away completely, but it will minimize for sure. Anyways, there you go. So first thing I did, take it out of the bag. I'm going to put it back in the bag now. And again, some comic book stores would like, you know, them to, they want to put their own, their own books away, and I don't blame them. I think a lot of damage can happen to books when you're actually just rifling through them and trying to put them back in, especially if they're using modern bags. I hate modern bags. All right, let's have a look at another one. I have a Werewolf by Night, 16. Again, let's go back to my big screen here for a sec. So I got my big book here. There it is, it's old crappy sleeve. I take it out of the sleeve. First thing I do, and this tape is sticky. Pull that tape right out of there. You don't want any tape getting on the book. You pull the comic book out. And then we go to, and we start inspecting right off the bat. All right, so right off the bat, we start doing it again. We check the four corners. One, two, three, and four. You want to make sure that all the four corners, and then this one here actually looks kind of rounded there. We also see right off the bat, we see a crease right there. This one here has got some rounded edges as well. In fact, this book is well, you know, right off the bat, it's well, there's some well-rounded edges. We look at the spine. Now this one has a white spine because of the wrap. So it hides a lot of the problems. There are issues. I can still, I can still see some pretty deep, deep creases there, 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 and there. Some, some rubbing over here. The staples moved a little bit. Those staple holes a little bit bigger. Turn it over. Um, again, you check the four corners in the back as well too. I see lots of dirt and grime, which is fantastic. I know with a good cleaning, that will go away. A dry cleaning will clean all this up. And this as well. Now you got a stain here. And it's, it's orangey brown. Orangey brown stains don't usually go away with a dry cleaning. They may lighten a little bit, but that could be there to stay. Um, so while wow, this black crud over here, let me move it over this way for you. While this black, these black imperfections here, um, will go away, all this gray will go away, this 
the stain right there might stay. So right off the bat, you know you got a permanent problem. You got a problem that's probably gonna last. Then, of course, if I if I put the light on the book really quick here for you, you're gonna see tons and tons of finger bends and just not a very flat, right, right there, especially in the center of the book, lots of finger bends. So those will come out, like I said, on the back, we've got some finger beds on the yellow area. Let me see if I can, there we go, if I can, there we go. See some finger bends there. We'll get those out as well. But right off the bat, we know the four corners are rounded. Got a pretty rough spine, really. We have a stain right there. This book is not going to be getting, this book is not going to be getting anywhere near a 9.8. It's probably going to get around a 7.5, 8, maybe an 8.5 on a good day if it presses out really nice. But again, you also have lots of color breaking creases along the front of the book and along the edges as well, too. So there you go. So, you know what, if he's telling you it's a, a very fine plus or whatever, uh, maybe not. All right, guys, so you want to make sure you have a good look. Now, I'll put this one back in its really old bag. And we'll move on to another one. So far, the two books, neither would be anywhere near a 9.8. Let's have a look at a ROM number one. Again, I pull it out of the sleeve. You can't, you can't. You can't examine a book, guys. You cannot examine a book in a bag. Don't be silly. Take the one minute, two minutes, whatever, to take the book out and have a very close look at it outside of the bag. Uh, and let's look at this ROM book, because you know what? This one, in a first glance, is looking pretty good. Right off the bat, the corner right there. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. This is not the best camera, guys. I apologize. It usually focuses a lot better, but it's not doing it today. I think I'm using the front of the, the back of the camera. But anyhow, uh, you've got a bit of a, a rough edge there, but the other corners are actually pretty decent. So the four corners are pretty decent. The spine looks actually really nice. I see a little spine tick right there, but will minimize significantly with a press. And you know what? The rest looks good. The e other edge of the book down the edge looks fantastic. Nice and sharp. The edges look sharp too. There's a bit of a rounded edge here. If I just kind of pull it a little bit, I can see there's no, oh, there is actually a little crease right there. This book should not be come back a 9.8, just for that alone. Um, this book probably is a 9.6. Uh, but you know what? I have seen 9.8s with that, but, and look at the back, wow. This is a sharp book. This book should go off the CGC. I see a little bit of a crease down here and some dirt, which I can get rid of. It's got some chipping there, which is pretty common on these books. So this book here, I would tell a customer, you're gonna look at you know, look at a 9.4 to a 9.8. On a good day, a 9.8, a bad day, a 9.4, probably a 9.6. That's what you're gonna get. But again, has a has a finger dent right on the R here. I don't think you can see it with this light. I'm going to invest in some better cameras, my friends. Right about that, I don't think you can see it, but there is a bit of a dent right there, but I can get rid of that dent with a good press. So there you go. So ROM number one looks pretty good as well. We'll do one more. We'll do one more until you get, you get, you'll get the idea. I am not going to do any uh, chat talk today. I just want to do this video to, uh, I've been meaning to do a video like this for a long time. Um, but if you have any suggestions yourself about what you do when you buy, if you have any suggestions about what you do when you buy raw comics, let us know in the comment section below. This is the way I look at books. When I go to buy a book, this is what I do. Uh, but what do you do? Maybe you have a different technique or you look for different things as well. Let us all know in the comment section below. Uh, and you know what? By, by answering questions in the comment section or by you know answering or giving comments in the, in the comment section, you automatically open yourself up to... Uh, just winning some prizes when I have those monumental, momentous um, giveaways. And the next one's coming at 2,000 subscribers, and we're heading there really quick. All right, next. Another X-Men book, a 163. Another book that looks pretty sharp. Let me go back to the uh, camera here. Boom. All right, so we got a 163, and this, this book lies nicely flat, but I do see something right away. Uh, let's have a look here. Do you guys notice it? I do. Um, there's a, there's an actual crease that goes right through the whole body of the book right there. See right there, right down. There's a crease right down the center. And you know what? I could not see that crease through the bag. The bag hid that completely. As soon as it's out in the natural light and I can tilt the book and have the light hit the, the cover, then I could see there was a problem. So right off the bat, you get, it's a pretty sharp crease too. Uh, it goes through the entirety of the book. It looks like, so that's a problem. 
That's a problem. It's a lot of work. A simple, you know, 10 minute press is not going to get rid of that. That's going to require uh, probably some hand pressing on every page to smooth out the crease throughout the book. And there's a good chance, while it can be minimized, um, there could be some fiber breakage there. And if that's the case, and I think it is, you're going to always see a slight remnant of that line. Better than it is, but it won't be perfect. Now, that being said, this book now negates its potential of ever becoming a 9.8. It's probably going to be a 9.6, maybe a 9.4 in and around there. Um, also, the bottom corner here, I see uh, it's a rolled edge, which is okay. Oftentimes, the edges are rolled. I don't see any um, creases, although right here, I do. So right there, I'll, I'll bring that closer so you can see what I mean. This is something that's often overlooked right there. You see that? Um, I wish it was more in focus for you, but you, you get the idea. Right there, the corner is creased. So the corner folded over, it creased the paper, and that's not going away, guys. That's there forever. That can't be put back. And there's a bit of color loss right here as well. So again, this book ain't going to be a 9.8. No way. No way, no how. Um, will it smooth out? Will it press out nicely? I see some embossing over here too. There's a bit of embossing there. It's really sharp embossing too. And some more over there. So this, this book certainly has its issues. If someone were to say it's a near mint book, I would laugh at them because it's not. I'd say it's more like a, a fine, very fine. It has, you know, the dirt in the back, which can be cleaned. It's not too bad, but there is some dirt marks along the edge. You probably can't see it too well with this camera, but there is some, and I can clean that. So, you know, again, check the four corners right off the bat. That looks okay. <clears throat> that one looks okay. This one is rounded, but should pop back. But this one has the color break. So the sharp corners doesn't pass that test. It has lots of finger bends that can be fixed, but it also has a dent, a fold that goes right through the entirety of the book, right through the entire book. So that has to be addressed as well. This book probably will, when it's all said and done, pressed out nice. If you can minimize that, that long uh, uh, bend or fold, you should get a nine, at least a nine, two, nine, four out of it. But if that, if that fold is still there, significantly, expect into the eight fives. So, you know, and again, the back, lots of, uh, lots of finger bends that can be fixed. Guys, the trick, the trick to buying these books is, is, is knowing what can be pressed out and what can't be. Remember, if you've got tons of spine ticks, minor little ones with no color break, perfect. But don't look at it and say, oh, it's not color broken when it is. And I've seen people do that. I don't see any color breaking spine ticks on there. And I look at it and I see six of them. Okay, so just, we all want to look through rose colored glasses when we see the books we want, right? But don't, don't. Make sure you look at the book real, you know, honestly, take it out of its sleeve like I showed you and inspect it very carefully. All right. Look for every little problem. Four corners, spine, flip it over, do the exact same thing again, and, and then go through the book to make sure there's no, you know, ads cut out or uh, tears or, or, or some kid maybe fill out a puzzle or something on there. Make sure none of that's in there because that's all going to affect the grade. Uh, we all want to have fun doing this we all want to not spend stupid money on books that are not worth it and and oftentimes a lot of dealers will think their books are the the best there are when they really are not and and it's up to you to get in there and if a dealer won't let you open the book or inspect the book that you're gonna buy then then don't buy the book don't buy the book i mean guys under every book i showed you today you can find they're not like these are not you know Action comics number one that are impossible to find, right? These are not rare books. These are books you can find everywhere. So, and again, if and if the books are under under twenty dollars, you can forego everything I just said. I mean, again, I wouldn't do it unless I'm spending probably fifty dollars or more. I wouldn't bother. Uh, I would just take the chance and and hope for the best. But that's me. You could do that on every every book. But some dealers, if you're buying $5 books off, them, probably are not going to be too keen to open up books to show you $5 books. That's my opinion anyways. Anyhow, guys, I hope that helps. You know, when I get a better camera, I'll, I'll do this again so I can get in really close and show you those imperfections even better. But that's pretty much the steps you want to take. Again, all four corners, the spine, flee through the book. And if most of the problems on the face of the book, like on the body of the book and the back page of the book, 
as long as there's no color missing, a good press can usually rectify those problems. Go for it. And you know what? You don't want to pay what a book is going to be, right? If a guy's got a price on there, near a near mint price on a book that's a fine, well, no. <laughs> that's, not the way, that's not the way it works, right? Uh, you still have to do some work. So make sure that the book is priced accordingly. Don't pray, pay near mint prices for raw books that are actually fine, very fine, whatever. Make sure you, you're paying accordingly. Um, now, if the spine looks beautiful and it only has some problems on the face of the book, then you might get excited and pay a little bit more because you know a press is going to fix it. But remember, a press is going to cost you money too. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's it for me. Again, no chat today. Let me know what you think. What Do you agree with some of the things I said today? What are your uh, tips and tricks for buying raw comic books? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. All right, guys, like I said the other day, I've got about five or six boxes on the way back from CGC as we speak. So there'll be a lot of unboxings uh, probably over the course of the next few days. I think one's arriving tomorrow at least. Maybe three are arriving tomorrow. I'm not sure, but many are coming. Also, uh, earlier this sometime this week, we're going to have another episode of What's in the Press. So be sure to hit that notification button so you'll know when I go live. Have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon, my friends. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.